Right here, we have a feminine equivalent example. And the question asks us to determine what VTH and RTH are. Now, I've said in my previous video that to find RTH, what we do is we turn off all the independent sources and then we calculate what our total resistance is. And to find VTH, we keep the independent sources active and we just find the voltage across A and B. So let's start to find RTH, shall we? So what we do is we are going to turn off the two amps current source and also the five volts voltage source. And what we're gonna get is this open and this short. And this is how our circuit's gonna look like. So this is our circuit with all the independent sources turned off. Now we wanna put them together. So first what we're gonna do is take 10 and eight together. And since these are in, these are in series, what we get is uh, 10 plus eight, and we get 18 ohms. And then this 18 ohm is gonna be in parallel with one. So what our equivalent resistance for that is going to be 18 times one divided by 18 plus one, that would be 18 over 19 ohms. And then this 18 and 19 ohms is gonna be in series with this one ohms. So that's gonna be 18 over 19, and one ohms is gonna be equivalent to 19 over 19. And that, what we get, is 37 over 19 ohms. And this is what our value for our RTH is going to be. So when we find VTH, as I've said, our independent sources are kept active. So now what we have to do is just find what the voltage across here and here these two terminals are. And to do that, we can first identify using nodal analysis what our node voltages are going to be. So we have one node voltage right here, and we can call that V1, and then another node voltage right here, and that'd be V2. And this V2 is essentially equivalent to what VTH is because the voltage across here and then the voltage across here is relatively the same thing. And this resistance can be omitted since uh, there is no uh, connection over here. V2 and VTH is going to be the same. Now let's apply KCL to all of these node voltages. And that, was, that essentially is going to be, uh, let's just label all the currents that are flowing in and out of each node voltage. So for V1, we have current going in like this, current going out like this, current going from V1 to V2, this current entering, I mean, flowing out of V2, and that's it. So let's apply KCL for V1, shall we? So V1, it's going to be two equals to V1 minus zero divided by 10 plus V1 minus V2 divided by eight. And that's our KCL equation for V1. So we'll label this as equation one. And then for two, V2, it's going to be V1 minus V2 divided by eight is equal to V2 minus five divided by one. And that's our equation two. Now, what we wanna do is find what V2 is going to be. And since we have two equations with two variables, that can be solved. So in equation one, let's multiply both sides by 10. And for equation two, let's multiply both sides by eight. So what we're gonna get is for equation one, we have 20 equals to V1 plus 1.25 V1 minus 
2, 5, V, 2. And then for equation 2, we're multiplying 8 by both sides. What we get is V1 minus V2 is equal to 8 V2 minus 40. For equation 1, let's isolate V1. So what we get is um, if we put minus 1.25 V2 on uh, the left side, what we get is 20 plus 1.25 V2 is equal to 2.25 V1. V1 is going to be 8.89 plus 0.56 V2. And now we can sub in uh, using this equation. We can sub in V1 into equation 2 to find what our V2 is going to be. So we have, uh, let me just draw this right here. So V1 is going to be 8.89 plus 0 0.56 V2. And then we have minus V2 equals to 8 V2 minus 40. Now let's put V2 onto the right side and then all of our constants onto our left side. So what we get is 8.44 V2 on the right side and on our left side what we get is 48.89. Now V2 is going to be 5.79 volts and that's what our VTH is going to be so VTH is equal to V2 as I've said and that is equal to 5.79 volts so we get our RTH value which is 37 over 19 and our Thevenin voltage which is 5.79 volts and if we want to label our Thevenin equivalent circuit, this is how it's going to look like. So we have this uh, voltage source here in series with our uh, Thevenin resistance. So let me just label uh, the symbols. We have a true terminal circuit right here. We're going to have our variable resistor on this uh, right side. So R, so RTH is going to be 37 over 19 ohms. And then VTH is going to be 5.79 volts. And that's our Thevenin equivalent circuit. I also want to clarify that you can also check out the Thevenin equivalent example, including dependent source. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the near future.